What's going on ladies and gents? Let me talk to you guys about the Raiden Shogun or Bot. A lot of you guys are free to play players or you know just players that don't spend a lot of money on this game and you're asking well should I go for Ball if I just spend money on Yoimiya or should I go for Ball C1 or her weapon or what, what am I supposed to do as a free to play player and what am I supposed to do if I'm a low budget spender. Those of you who just, you know, spend a little bit on the game, you probably just have the Battle Pass as well as the Vulcan Moon. And you guys have probably been, you know, saving up for Paul's Banner. And you might have enough to guarantee yourselves maybe two five stars, may whether it's like the weapon or the actual, you know, limited character Ball. And if you guys are not on the guaranteed for Ball and you still have like two five stars, that's one guaranteed Ball. And that's, that's the way to go. And a lot of people, I, I see a lot of people saying, oh, I just spent, you know, my Prime Jams on Yoimiya, but I really want Ball, what am I supposed to do? And where do I go from here? Pretty sure by the next patch, we're going to have a new island being added to Inazuma if we just go over here. Um, so yeah, brand new island. That means you get a few more Prime Gems from there. You're going to get a few more events. You'll have time to get yourself maybe a few thousand Prime Gems and you could try your best and try your luck at summoning again. Or you could just save. And if you don't have enough already to guarantee yourself a ball through the 20 days of her banner, and if you, you still don't have enough to... Get her guaranteed, do not go for her, do not summon for her at all, I do not recommend it. Even though on her banner there are, there's might be, you know, Kojasara that's gonna be on there and she might be a really good unit, she's not even guaranteed. If Ball is guaranteed, the four stars are not. That's why I'm wary of these types of things, I'm trying to tell you guys to be careful of how you spend your Prima Gems because you might not get an opportunity to get them back and it's kind of unfortunate my number one advice is please 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 make good decisions yes balls you know constellations might be good and her signature weapon might be incredible and you might be enticed to summon after seeing other people summon other people getting lucky just be smart about it Try not to just spend all the Prima Gems on whatever it is, especially on the weapon banner. The weapon banner, you have to go to three rotations, three five stars in order for you to guarantee yourself one of the weapons that you want. The charted course, right? If you just go here to the wish list here, you guys can see over here, um, this whole epitomized path. Uh, you select the weapon that you want and you can collect fate points in order for you guys to get the guaranteed weapon over here. And it's not like you can just click on the weapon and you get it, right? It's uh, it's a process you have to get three five stars in order for you to guarantee it. Or you can get extremely lucky and get the weapon you want. You probably would not get the thing you want, especially off the weapon banner. Um, a lot of people summon on the limited character banner because you it's guaranteed. You go... I don't know 80 times you get you hit soft pity you get that five star you might lose it But the next 80 or the next 75 that you summon on you're guaranteed and you might get unlucky And you have to go to pity to 90. That's also a chance you get your the five star you want because you're guaranteed it In this weapon banner you're not guaranteed at all unless you go through all your fate points And if you have two fate points you are then guaranteed That's the whole thing with the weapon banner so if you're a free to play player, I do not think you should go for a weapon at all. Um, if you guys see, you know, some streamers or YouTubers do that, it's because they don't mind getting whatever other weapon that's on that banner or any other Pfizer weapon at all. They don't mind spending on it because it's probably their second account or it's just an account they don't care about. Or if you guys have seen the smart free play players, they don't even spend on the weapon banners at all. And they rather just wait on the standard banner, which has already 5 star weapons that are pretty good still. And in the past, there were some weapons that were given out. For example, if we go to our inventory over here, I can show you guys. For example, the Dodoka Tails is a weapon that was given out for free. They give you a free R5 and it's pretty good in my opinion. And a lot of people, you know, is able, everyone's able to get it, right? Same thing with the wind blue mode. It's free. You get an R5 weapon of it and who's to say you won't get another one of these in the future. An example would be a Albeda rerun. If they have an Albeda rerun, I can see the weapon coming back. The whole uh, festering desire, which I personally missed, even though I do have Albeda. Um, I didn't do the event. Around that time, I did take a break from Genshin Impact, which is kind of unfortunate for me. In order for me to summarize everything I said, feel free to play your budget. 
please do consider all your options make sure you're guaranteed whatever five star that you can get and go for the five star that you're guaranteed rather than oh i'm just gonna summon try to get lucky of course some people are like that i mean this is just my advice to do anything i say please take it with a grain of salt so please do be mindful of what you do with your primary gems all right so um some of you might ask well i don't know who would but if you do ask um i will be summoning on ball's banner for sure i'm gonna try my best to get ball with all the prime gens and intertwined fate that i do have currently and of course the ones that i will get in the future i'm gonna be summoning on b the ball banner trying my best to get ball and that's my number one priority and after that i could start saving which is what i would recommend for everyone else if they if you do get ball you know you're free to play just start saving after that try don't get c1 it's fine even though you'll see bigger damage numbers whatever she's going to be perfectly fine at c0 like every other five star and yeah anyways um, that's just what i'm gonna do anyways i hope this was useful for every one of you free to play players as well as you budget spenders on this game do consider all your options and that's gonna be it for me thank you guys so much for watching hope you guys did enjoy this video consider liking the videos or subscribing to the channel see you guys in the next video very soon goodbye